So why don't I try it? No words needed. Hi kids and parents, Chef Jamie here. I've got three exciting recipes for you to try. We've got a cocoa crispy square, a white chocolate and raspberry cookie, banana and oat muffin. Let's start. The first recipe that we're gonna be cooking today is this amazing banana oat muffin. Now the first thing that we need to do, we're gonna be mixing all our dry ingredients together. Really, really super simple, done in no time. We have our vegetable oil, our oat milk, vanilla, just a little drop, our, our bananas. Now there's no need to chop the bananas. We can throw them in whole if you really want to. We're just gonna break it up a little bit and then we're just gonna crack our eggs. One, two. And then we are just going to press start. Okay, now we're ready for our dry ingredients. Again, we're gonna have some oat flour. We've got some ground oat flour here. Our sugar, now we're using a light brown sugar. If you wanted to substitute the sugar, okay, you should look for a nice brown banana. What we also have is we have our um, baking powder and baking soda mix, and then some cinnamon. And rolled oats here. Now I'm gonna leave a little bit, okay, just a sprinkle on the top to make them look even more pretty later. We're gonna attach the lid, and then we're just gonna mix our dry ingredients with our wet. Okay, so let's take a look at our mix. Yeah, it's nice and bound. It looks fairly wet, but don't worry. As it bakes, it's gonna obviously thicken up and, and sort of firm up. So once our mix is done, okay, uh, what we want to do is we want to prepare a muffin tin. We can just spoon in, okay? So we're gonna put one or two spoons in either, in, in each one. Now don't fill them too high, because obviously we've got all this baking powder, and it will rise as it cooks. The last little thing what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be sprinkling some of our oats over the top, and then we're gonna be baking this in a preheated oven. Okay guys, so look, our muffins are cooked and they look absolutely beautiful. And we're gonna plate them up. Okay guys, so our beautiful banana oat muffin. The second dish that we're gonna be cooking is a cocoa rice puff. They could bring to school, they could share with their classmates. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be melting our butter and marshmallow together. So we're gonna add the butter, and then all these marshmallows, is just, we're just gonna um, start for about six minutes. Okay, we're gonna have a look into here, and then this is beautifully melted. Now, we're gonna skip on to the next step, and where we're, we're gonna be adding our rice puffs, and we're gonna mix it. Let Malta do all the mixing too. We're gonna to press start, and then we're gonna be binding this together. So now what we need to do is we need to empty, okay, this into the parchment paper. We're, we're gently easing it out. So we're just gonna spread it. You see how sticky and gooey it is? And sometimes it might get a little bit stuck okay, to your spatula. Okay, what I wanna show you is a way where we can make it nice and smooth and flat. We've got a little bit of spare parts from paper, and what we're gonna do, we are compacting and compressing. Now we're gonna be putting this in the refrigerator until it's set. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna melt some chocolate. Chocolate is going to go in, so we're gonna preset. Around about 140 to 150 Fahrenheit, okay, and for about three minutes. And also what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some additional sprinkles on there as well to make it even more exciting and decadent. So now all what we're gonna do, we're, we're, we're gonna drizzle, make loads of mess. So now all what we're left to do is sprinkle over these hundreds and thousands. We're gonna give that a few more minutes in the fridge and then we're gonna slice it. Uh, now it's time to slice it, okay? So we're just gonna slice it. Wow, do you hear that crisp? Okay, little squares now. We've got a cocoa crispy square. So look, the third and final, the white chocolate chip cookie with raspberries again. It's another great one to share. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be chopping our chocolate. So we're just gonna be breaking our white chocolate up. Again, if you, you don't have to use white chocolate for this. Dark chocolate, bittersweet chocolate works really, really well for this recipe too. Next step is we're going to be creaming our butter and sugar. So our butter and sugar, and then we're just gonna be chopping it together. 
just whilst our butter and sugar is finishing creaming, what we're going to do is we're just going to crack an egg into a small bowl and then we're going to add a drop of vanilla into here. Now we're using vanilla extract. Um, if you had vanilla bean paste or even fresh vanilla, okay, it also works absolutely fabulous. And then we're just going to beat it nice and carefully. So before we move on to the next step, what we must do, okay, we see our beautifully cream butter and sugar now, is we're just going to scrape down the sides a little bit, then we're going to reattach the lid, and then we're going to be removing the measuring cup. So we're going to skip on to the next step, and then a little bit at a time, we're going to be pouring it through the hole, just bit by bit. Now, actually, if you don't want to use egg, Okay, also possible. Uh, however, it's gonna change the texture. It'll make it more crumbly and more like a shortbread or a shortcake. Okay, so let's have a quick look at our batter and you see it's creamed nicely. The last thing we need to do, we're gonna mix all this batter together. We're gonna have our plain flour, our raspberries, the white chocolate, and bind it all together. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna spoon about six to eight uh, on this tray. Don't flatten it, because if you flatten it, it may become like a little pancake. If you did want them a little bit flatter, get a little bit of water on the back of the spoon and just push it down. So here we have is our fantastic raspberry and white chocolate cookie. So as you see, these three exciting recipes. We've taken one recipe from Molto and we've made it our own. Okay, challenge is on you now. Share it with our community.